Today I want to take a look at how to use Google's F12 developer tools to replay a REST API call in Postman. So here we're looking at uh, SharePoint Online. We're looking at the site contents page. We're going to hit F12 to open our developer tools and we're going to filter for XHR, which is the XML HTTP request. Go ahead and hit F5 to reload the page. See a number of transactions come through. And there's one in particular of interest called app tiles. I'm going to copy the address over to a new tab just so we can see all of the XML data. If you apply the correct HTTP headers, it comes back in JSON format, which is what we have on the right. And Microsoft's using this to construct the uh, site contents page. So they have a JSON array with a number of different app tiles that provide uh, links for the interface. You can see targets are like style library, form server template, uh, app packages, whatever different things we want to create from the site contents. And what you do from Chrome is you right click the transaction itself and go over here to copy as curl bash. Now there's a lot of different options here. You can copy just the URL address. That's an easy one, which is what I did to open the new tab across the top. You could copy as PowerShell, which is kind of a cool one that creates an invoke web request command pre-filled with all the variables you need to replay this exact transaction. But the one we care about is curl bash. Curl bash is going to give us the format we need to introduce this to Postman. So if you find any REST API transaction and do copy as curl bash, come over to Postman and you want the import button in the top left corner over here. Go ahead and click on import, go to raw text, the very last tab on the right, and you can paste in all of that curl text. Now it's kind of lengthy, there's a lot going on. It has headers, it has the endpoint, it's got the digest for security, it's got origin, all kinds of different headers are available. Go ahead and hit continue, hit import, there's a the transaction, click the send button, and what do we have but beautiful JSON response with a status of 200 OK. So we're able to mimic SharePoint Online, we're able to imitate the authentication headers and capture 100% with fidelity the exact transaction that Chrome was using. I mean, all of the signatures here are the same. All of the GUID numbers are the same. There are 28 headers on this request, and I had to set up none of them manually. You can go in and you can set up all of these things by using a simple right click, copy, curl, bash. So the next time you're doing some API work with SharePoint Online, or really any part of Office 365, Graph API, MS Flow, Power Apps, you might want to use F12, look at your network traffic, find a transaction of interest, and then use the copy curl bash to bring it over here to Postman, because once you're inside of Postman, you can do a lot with inspecting the data. I mean, here we can walk through the JSON, we can copy this over to Visual Studio Code, we could run it through a JSON linter, we could save it to a local text file. But really, I mean, once you're inside of Postman, you can maybe modify the headers, potentially reduce, turn some of these off, kind of streamline things, which headers are needed, inspecting the cookies and kind of getting to know the authentication a little bit better. But any inspection you want to do on the traffic is going to be easier out here than in the browser itself. And you can use the Chrome right-click copy as curl bash to create text on the clipboard. And then over here in Postman, we'll do it one more time, import button in the top left corner. So we'll go ahead and uh, open that up. Import, raw text is the last tab on the right. Paste it in, continue, send, and there's our 200 OK with our JSON response. So if you want to learn how to use REST APIs with Postman, best way to do it is to press F12, copy, curl, bash. Thanks for watching.